Well, you know, I've worked with polymer clay, but I've not worked with air dry clay, and maybe you could kind of explain the difference. Oh boy, have I got a treat for you. It's not only lightweight, but it's acid free also. Well, I looked at the page you brought, and I, I did feel that it was going to be heavy. I thought I was very surprised when I lifted it, and it was like paper. I can see here, obviously, this is the, the clay area of the design. So maybe you can tell me, how, does this, how would we start? The first thing that you're going to want to do, actually, is to put your clay on a clay roller. And the clay roller is important because it has rails, and it allow, allows you to adjust the thickness of your clay. The rollers, the rails just lock in there. And I'm going to roll this out, Sandy, just like I was rolling out pie dough. And I'm going to turn my clay because I want both a vertical and a horizontal spread of the clay. Mm -hmm. And I will let my roller rest on those rails so that I get an even thickness. Now I'm going to impress a rubber stamp into it. I want to make sure that I have a release agent on my rubber stamp. That could be an embossing pad, it could be a watermark pad, it could be clear embossing ink, or it could be something as simple as olive oil. Okay, easy enough. And I know you have to put a lot of pressure. Oh, yes. Sometimes on those really large rubber stamps, I actually do it on the floor and I step on it. And then that's plenty of weight. That leaves a great <laughs> impression. Now you're going to lift this, and I've got the impression mm -hmm. of the rubber stamp on there. So, Sandy, what you're going to wind up with actually is something that looks like this, and this has air dried. Uh, it will take about, manufacturer's instructions say 24 hours, much less than 24 hours to air dry. Okay, and you've cut around it as well, I can see. I have. Okay. Once it has air dried, you can start putting a topical application on it. Actually, because I'm very impulsive, sometimes when the clay is still wet, I start painting on it right away also, and that's okay. I started putting a tint on it, and I want you to see what it looks like completed with all of the tint on it, mm -hmm. but now you really can't can't see the depth yet of the clay until you start hitting the high spots. And I've put a lighter application of acrylic paint just with my finger, and I'm going to finish it off with an even lighter application so you can really see the detail and the depth of the That's stamp. That's right. It looks great. And then what? Then I'm going to take some decorative ribbon, and I'm going to simply start winding it around because that will give another added decoration to our frame. Okay, so I know you've actually wound it several times. If we go back and we look at the finished project, I can see how you've really enhanced the whole clay image with the ribbon. Now this creates just a really fun looking page, but you had other examples as well. Here I can see that you did the same thing, but with just square. Now, did you use a rubber stamp for this? I did not, Sandy. I used some shelf liner for that. That was so fun to do. Okay, is that what this is? I can see you have other things here which are so intriguing. So this created that texture, it looks it like. It did, and I simply laid this on top of the clay and then rolled across the shelf liner. Perfect. These are just very inventive. It looks so great. I just can't thank you enough for sharing. You're welcome. Now for